Hello! In this video, I want to clarify what is available in the free version of Grammarly and how to make the best use of it. So for starters, you want to make sure that you have the Grammarly extension for Chrome installed. Right now I'm on a free version and that is what I will be showing you in this video. You can toggle on some settings right here from the Chrome extension. I'm gonna just toggle all of them on for this demonstration. If you do not yet have the Grammarly Chrome extension, just go ahead and Google Grammarly Chrome extension and then get it from the Chrome web store and you would see an install button right here. So that's how you would get started. Once you have it installed, it's a one-time thing you should see it in your Chrome extensions. Now, how does it work? Let's get to writing an email with an error. How does this work? Grammarly detects errors like this, and you can easily just change the word to what you meant to write right here. If you want to see more tips, you can always see more in Grammarly, and you will get a sidebar assistant with more detail. So for example, here, they tell me why this is incorrect. In addition, Grammarly will pick up things like missing commas. So you can see here, it's not just a spell check. Here it points out that this is a mistake in my capitalization. And here it reminds me that I need a comma. So all I have to do is click and accept any changes that I want. So now that I made those corrections, you can see that it gives me some more detail like instead of in addition, something less wordy might be also or besides. Now, if I see more in Grammarly, I'm gonna get more detail on what this means. So it tells me right here that it would be more concise if I used one of these two words and if I press learn more, it gives me more instruction. So that teaches me how to improve my writing. I will also get an overall score performance that I can click on and get more detail about. I can adjust the goals of my writing depending on what type of writing that I'm doing. Now, the only thing I don't get with premium is some advanced features like fluency, readability, word choice, and then that plagiarism detection is only available in premium. So I just wanna emphasize that even with free, you can do a lot. There are a lot of recommendations for how to improve your writing here. Now, I wanna move over to a Google Doc because this is new in Grammarly. Before, it was very limited what Grammarly features were available in Google Docs and it was still in beta. Now, if I go into a Google Doc and I have to click down here and make sure that it is turned on and yes, it's checking. So you should see an icon down here at the bottom right. And when I click on that, this is all new, you're gonna get a sidebar on the right side and it is going to give me more detail about how to improve my writing. So this is more than just a spell check. For example, here tells me preposition at the end of a sentence. And then if I press learn more, it teaches me more about what that correction means. So that can be great in the classroom and to help you learn. So you can choose what things you want to accept, what things you don't want to accept, punctuation, add an article, remove redundancy, it even tells me. So again, all of this is available in the free version. That is what I'm using right now. If you wanna adjust your goals, that is also available now, right in Google Docs. And so I'm gonna go ahead and close the sidebar and just show you if I want to get that assistant bar again, all I do is down here at the bottom right, you would just click on 36 more in assistant and then you can accept or reject any of these recommendations that Grammarly shares. Now, the last thing that I wanna show is because I turned on the setting to show definitions and synonyms via double click on all sites, if I double click on any word, it will give me a bunch of synonyms and if I want to change my word to one of those suggestions, I can just click it and it changes it automatically. So I hope this is a helpful walkthrough of the features that are available in Grammarly using the completely free license. That's all for now. Bye.